guys, welcome back. I'm so sorry for not uploading recently. I've been kind of just haven't had inspiration. I've been a little bit busy. Um, I'm hoping over holiday break coming up soon, I can film some more for you guys, get some new content out. I think I'm gonna start vlogging, but I'm gonna do a whole separate update video because this is an update video. I just wanted to kind of get back in to uploading with a usual video just to kind of, you know, ease in and everything. So welcome back. Today, um, I will be showing you some holiday gifts you can make for your friends, your family, anybody you know that you want to give a gift to. Because I will admit, I think nowadays, my favorite thing about the holidays is being able to make stuff and give it to people. It's not as much about getting stuff as much as I like gift cards. It's just, you know, making people things is really fun. And I think we've all had that thing where we make someone something and it's just super crappy. But, you know, hey, it's a good gift because it's handmade. Well, yeah, that's not always, not always good. So today I'm going to give you some ideas of some personalized gifts in case you want to give someone something a little more personal than a gift card, as awesome as they are. Because let's face it, sometimes you feel bad for giving those gift cards. And if you know a bit about that person, I'm sure you will be able to take something from this video and make it into a wonderful gift for them. So, without further ado, let's get into it! Onwards! <laughs> here today are some customized holiday candles. I'm taking the most generic, most probably highly giving gift besides gift cards and actually making it personal. So yes, here are some personalized candles. I'm not particularly fans of any of the things I made these candles about, so I might have gotten some details wrong or something, but my friends are and I want to give them a personalized gift. These particular candles smell like peppermint, they smell really nice, and they're really cheap find too, and it's just a really nice way to take a gift that wouldn't really be personal and make it personal. Um, I will admit, I cannot take full credit for this idea. I found it in a YouTube video last year, but I cannot find the video currently. Uh, if I do find it, I will put an annotation up and the link in the description. So I uh, keep watching to see how I particularly did these candles because I honestly think these are awesome and I would definitely like to get one one year. <laughs> All right, so for this project, you're gonna need some candles, you're gonna need some markers and you're gonna need some paper. I'm using sticker paper so it's easier for me, but you can use regular paper. So you're going to want to draw what you want on the paper using your markers. If you are going to be gluing them, make sure your markers don't run. So I would recommend Sharpies and just draw your images. Um, again, as I said, I am using sticker paper. It's just a little bit easier for me to use sticker paper as it is going to save me using glue and glue can be a bit annoying. Speaking of glue, if you do not have sticker paper, you would cut your images out and then glue them to the candle instead of just simply sticking them like I will be doing here because I use sticker paper. But gluing them on is completely fine. I did it that way the previous year and it worked out wonderfully. Next up, we have hot Coke in a jar, or hot chocolate, or white hot chocolate in this case, because we don't actually have hot chocolate in this in my house, because I don't eat it, or rather drink it. Don't eat plain chocolate or cocoa powder, please. 
So this is just a little cute white hot chocolate mason jar with some marshmallows, a cute little ribbon. This is not the most personal gift. You could definitely personalize it a little more, but it's a good gift for someone you don't necessarily know a bunch about, but you're getting them a gift and you don't want to give them something too typical. I mean, it is more seen, but I mean, I've never received this, so I'm gonna say that it's not that typical. But it's really cute. I even put some holiday paper on the top and I just I think it's a really cute gift and you know um it just, it's just a cute little thing you can get someone all right so go ahead and get yourself your mason jar make sure it's clean you don't want to put food products into a dirty mason jar then get your hot cocoa mix and put a cup or so into your mason jar I just followed the directions on the actual um mix on how much you should put in for an eight ounce drink so just go ahead and pour that in you might make a mess you might want to make yourself a paper funnel so you don't get powder everywhere then just top with some marshmallows i only had these really weird ones so i'm using them but you probably actually have normal ones if you're doing this and then bam Next up, I have a personalized sketchbook. It's kind of a little, it kind of reminds me of the candles a little bit, how, you know, you have that little, like, the cutout thing looks like stickers, but they're not stickers because they're actually paper. I personally like this a lot. Um, this particular sketchbook came with this weird DIY thing, but I just, I like the idea of giving someone a sketchbook if they like drawing a lot. And not only are you giving them a sketchbook, something that they are probably constantly needing, you're also making it personal by adding some cute little graphics. Um, you can do these the same way you did the candles. I did this one a different way, and so I'm going to show you it. I'm going to show that to you now. All right, so just like with the candles, you want to draw your design out. I'm doing this actually on computer paper this time instead of sticker paper. I just wanted to glue it this time. Um, you could probably stick your paper it though if you're using shipping labels. They stick very well. So go ahead and draw out your design. Since I am gluing this, make sure to use markers that don't bleed everywhere. Sharpies recommended um, because I'm using water-based glue. Don't really think alcohol-based glue is a thing. So don't really use water-based markers such as Crayola's. They could bleed. Of course, I could be wrong, but I really don't think this is something you really want to experiment with. Once you have everything drawn out, you are going to glue them onto your sketchbook. I laid them out the way I wanted to first, rarity for me, and um, put some Mod Podge on them, glue them right down onto the sketchbook. The final gift I have here today is an iron-on transfer garment item. I chose a tote bag personally. I thought this would look cute. And so yes, this is an iron-on transfer project. Pretty common, I think. But, you know, it's still a really personal thing because you can put, like, any design you really want. And it can be super personal. You could even print an inside joke on a bag. I think that would be super cool. And I actually decided to do it for my other friends this year. Except not really an inside joke, just a joke. Um, but this is a super cool way to add some personal flair. And I mean, for bags and whatnot, you're not going to have to worry about them too much getting washed. So totally recommend for bags. You can do this on t-shirts too. Just make sure to uh, include washing instructions. Yeah, so I you know, thought this tote bag was super cute. And I think it's even better now that I put my little transfer on it. So now I'm going to show you how to make this project. All right, so go ahead and make your design on the drawing slash design program of your choice. This design I'm doing here, I ended up scrapping, but I didn't actually record the design that I actually did. So you're going to have to excuse the fact that this isn't actually the design I ended up going with. Um, but so go ahead and grab some stuff, put it all together in a design you like. 
Then you want to go ahead and print that out. Make sure it is reversed. When you iron this on, it will be mirrored from how you print it. So you want to go ahead and mirror the image when you print it. So that way, when you iron it down, it will be the correct way. Do not forget this. You can waste paper if you forget this. You don't want to waste paper. Then I went ahead and just gave my bag a good iron beforehand because it had a couple of wrinkles in it from being folded up for so long. And then I went ahead and cut out my transfer. Um, you want to cut as close to the edge. I didn't cut super close to the edge here and I regret it. Then iron it down according to your directions. Mine, I think, said make sure every area has two minutes of steady pressure applied. Uh, you will also notice I am on the floor of a towel. This is just because you won't be able to get the pressure of the iron anymore. So give it a good iron. Then all that's left is to peel the backing up. Make sure it is cool before doing this. One, you don't want to burn yourself, and two, I think it can mess up the transfer. And then bam! Alright, that is all for my holiday gift ideas. I hope you picked something up from this and are going to possibly use it for your next gifts that you are making for people. Um, if you don't like any of these gifts, that's fine. There are plenty of ideas on the internet and you can always take some ideas from this video and use it to make your own personal gifts because that is always awesome when you can just totally come up with a personalized gift that doesn't suck because honestly, who really wants a picture frame made out of, you know, popsicle sticks, glue zots, and some weird gemstones like my four-year-old self made? because that's actually what my four-year-old self gave my parents that year. Yeah, don't recommend. Um, but you know, some nice personal gifts that rock are always nice. I like getting personal gifts. I'm sure you do too, because it really shows that the person giving you the gift really thought about you. And it's just such a sweet gesture, honestly. And I just love giving. So I hope this video helped you in some way. Uh, let me know in the comments if it did or didn't. Uh, give me recommendations on other things I can do. Um, highly appreciate it in this inspiration drought I've been having with videos. Uh, so uh, yeah, that's really about it. Thank you for watching and as always, like this video if you like this video. Favorite this video if you favorite this video. Comment your opinions and subscribe if you want to. Peace out, have a great day, and I hope your holiday season is wonderful no matter what you celebrate. Alright, I'll see you next time.